Here you are. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Sure? Yeah, I'll have to be, don't I? Randy. Well, your dry cleaning's arrived. Thanks. Have you seen Aaron? He's not answering his phone. I just wanted to make sure I knew what he was doing with the coffin. I heard him telling Chaz he didn't want to come. Did he say why? I didn't hear that bit. I'll go check if he's all right. No, you haven't got time. And don't worry. He won't let his mum down. And looking through this book of memories, I was struck by just how many entries mention Casey's kindness and warmth. Everyone's written in it. Her ability to, to provide so much joy and laughter to her friends and family. If he doesn't stop that, there's going to be another funeral. It's also clear. A lot of us have known Katie since she was very young and, as a result, felt particularly protective of her. And saddened, we were unable to prevent what happened that day. Such sadness at such a senseless accident is perhaps inevitable but also futile, as is any guilt or regret. And all of us here, all of those whose lives she touched should feel heartened to know that she's now in the protection of a God who unconditionally loves her and cares for her every bit as much as we did. Andy. Well, I'm not going to say much. I think you all know what Katie meant to me. Because I said it all a few weeks ago here. When I thought it was forever. So I'm just going to read a poem from Sarah. I am very sad about Katie because I love her. Because she was kind and nice to me. Because she is beautiful. Because she, because she plaited my hair when it grew back. Because she, because she made my daddy happy again. I do want to say something. I, I just want to say thank you for helping me get through this. All your support. I couldn't have asked for anything more. In particular, you, Rob. I'm so glad we're becoming friends again. So thank you. Aaron? Aaron. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven.